Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa here. How is everyone today? I just wanted to share this with you guys real quick. This is the before picture video of my Christmas tree that I just uh, picked up with my son the other day. And yeah, it is pretty huge. It is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what type of tree this is, but I know that um, the people we bought it from, they actually come from Canada, um, the French Canadian, and they come to New York just to sell trees. So this is absolutely gorgeous. It was worth every dime. I am not telling how much it costs, but she is a beauty. I am very, very happy. And if you don't know, I live in an apartment building in Queens, and we do not have an elevator. So my wonderful son literally ran up four flights of stairs, ran with this tree. He's a beast. He's amazing. Anyway, and I got a new tree skirt this year because I couldn't find my old one. And of course I found it, but I actually like this one better. So here are all my decorations that are going up. So yeah, I just want to show you a quick uh, little video of my tree beforehand. And then you'll see the after picture. Alright, so we have a lot to do today. I have a lot to show you. And I actually have a pretty cool idea from a question I received. So there's a lot to do, a lot to talk about today. So let's get going. But I wanted to share this with you guys. Alright, I'll see you in a sec. Bye. Hey guys, I am back. So look at all this stuff that we are doing today. But I just wanted to start off with the dried results of this guy right here. And I'll link the video right here uh, where I made this. Okay, this is my first ever uh, reverse dip pour with the pouring masters and i'm assuming this is by u.s art supply i'm going to give you my thoughts about this paint this whole set um right now but first let's just look at this this dried beautifully it's not as glossy as the artist loft uh premixed but it really came out like gorgeous i love it I really, really, really love this kit for $35. And I don't know if it was a sale or not. I think that was the price of it, I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, free shipping, whatever, a little tax, no problem. I would definitely, definitely buy this um, whole kit again. And they, and I forgot to tell you, they actually have, this is like the smallest kit. They actually have much bigger kits with many more colors. Um, obviously, it's more expensive, um, but yeah, and it has it's, it comes with everything, uh, you know, with the pouring medium and with the silicone. It just comes with more colors. So maybe after the new year, after Christmas and all that, um, you know, once all that is done, I can buy more of this because I want more. I want more colors. I love it. I think this set is amazing. The colors are gorgeous. Um, usually Arteza has like these, you know, are, they're kind of known for like the vibrant, um, pigmented colors and paints, but I have to say for like pouring acrylics, this is gorgeous. I love, I love this painting. I love this product. So I am happy. So yeah, this is the dried result. It really came out lovely. Okay. And I'm going to explain what I'm doing today as quickly as I possibly can. This guy is still a little wet. So this is me messing around. Let me get that light. There we go. That's better. Whoops. Sorry. So this is a canvas board. I don't know why. I just bought some canvas um, panels for some reason. I don't know. Something was telling me to get the panels. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I want to do some crafty stuff, but yeah, I just put some uh, 9 by 12 canvas paddle, uh, panels, um, a set of 12. So this is the same thing. It's a reverse pour dip. Uh, 
I mean, a reverse dip pour, duh. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, but it is with the pouring medium and the silicone mixed, okay? So that's the difference. You definitely get more cells, okay? And it actually is very reactive. It's pretty cool. And then I, over here and over here, I just took the um, paper towel with the, some of the paint left over and I just dipped on the corners. I thought that was kind of cool. And then I just took a little craft stick. I was kind of just being... Yeah, I was just painting, you know, I was just having fun with it. So I really like this as well. I think this came out really lovely. Uh, it's a little wet still in the middle because I did this last night. So there is um, with silicone and the medium, okay? And this is without. So you still get a little cell creation even... Uh, without the silicone and medium here okay so that is that so um, I got another comment from and it's a good comment um, from Fiji Joe art and they said oh well the comment was very nice I said you know your paintings are always so interesting why don't you um, name you know give them names and I have given some of my paintings names, not any of these. I mean, there's a lot of paintings here, and none of them have, I don't name them. Um, t you know, it's just something that I don't do often. I have named um, paintings in the past, but my paintings are like uh, Abstract 1 and Abstract 2, and Untitled 1 through 10. <laughs> um, very few of my paintings actually have like titles i'll be honest with you so i kind of suck at it but also because i because i do abstract art like some people like oh that looks like like to me this one right there that one actually looks a little bit like like a leaf like an autumn leaf but someone else would be like no that looks like fire or that looks like dragon breath so Part of the reason why I don't name my abstract art that doesn't have any subject matter in it, basically, is because I want it to be open to interpretation by the viewer. So that's part of the reason why. Um, and the other reason why, I don't know. I just, I'm not into naming my uh, paintings. I'll be honest. That's just, you know, how it is. But I thought it would be a fun idea because I suck at making names for my paintings, I thought you guys could actually give me some suggestions in the comments below. And let's say for this guy or anyone or, you know, this guy or maybe something that I create today, you can actually give me some suggestions for names. And then once I get maybe three to five suggestions, I'm going to create a poll in one of the videos. You guys can vote on it, and whoever, you know, make, gets the most uh, votes will win. Uh, that will be the name of my painting. So I thought it was a kind of a cool idea to get you guys involved in uh, my process, and I really like that. So also, I just want to say... I am incredibly close to 200 subscribers. I can't believe it. Um, I think I reached over a little, like a little bit over a hundred on Halloween, like at the end of October, early November, and it is the beginning of December. So, like within a little bit over a month, I have oh, another hundred subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing. And I just wanted to say um, that, you know, you guys are not just numbers to me. It's like, oh, you know, we kind of can all get caught up in, like, subscribers and views and likes and comments and all that. I know that to every subscriber is a real person behind that like or that comment, um, that sub. You know, you guys are real people. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart that I 
really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Um, I really appreciate you commenting and watching and being engaged with me. I think that it is absolutely amazing. And thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, so on that note, for my 200 subscriber, I was thinking about doing another giveaway. But because it is the holidays and I have spent uh, way too much money on gifts and I actually had to still buy art supplies so um, so I can continue painting uh, yeah you know and there was no, I actually felt guilty you know because I should be like getting people stuff but um, yeah I don't feel guilty because I <laughs> I need to I need to paint you know what I'm saying I need to create so I do not feel guilty about this one um, yes I was thinking about doing a giveaway after the holidays, uh, because that way, because um, I don't like to skimp on um, giveaways. You know, I just don't want to just do something really quick and like, okay, let's, let's get it over with. I don't want to do that. I want to take my time, pick some nice stuff, maybe have a little theme behind it or something like that. All right. So, um, yes, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do for my 200 uh, sub giveaway it'll be like after the holidays and yeah i'll talk about it then there's no rush okay but i just want to say thank you so let's get into what we're doing today all right so i'm gonna remove this guy put him over here and so we are actually going to do two different pours today Okay, I have everything set up already. And this time we're going to experiment. You saw over there how it looked with the medium and the silicone. So we are going to do two different pours. We're going to use the, in all these paints is the gloss uh, pouring medium. And this is US Art Supply, okay? And the Pouring Masters uh, silicone uh, pour oil. So in all these cups, there is the medium, there is about two drops of pour oil per cup. And I would have to say, if I was to give a ratio between a medium and paint, I would say 60-40, uh, 60 meaning uh, paint, and 40 uh, being the, the um, gloss medium, okay? And actually, we are using all the colors, so I'll put all the... Um, materials in the description below okay it's a lot to go over so it's all the colors in the box um except like in one painting um i'm going to do like you know half the colors and in the other paint i'm going to do the other half and the only thing that is going to be as far as the colors similar is i am using i believe black and white in you know on both uh paintings okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat each canvas with the black, okay? I'm going to coat each canvas with the black, um, and I have added white into the mix. So on this side, we have the citrus, we have the black, the citrus orange, white, grass green, and lemon yellow. And on this side, uh, what is this? Yes, we're doing a kiss pour, okay? That's what we're doing on this side. And on this side, we're going to do a rink pour, and again, I am going to coat my canvas with the black. And I uh, use some white as well. It's underneath these cups here. Let's take some of these off. Yeah. All right. So here. So um, I said I'm going to um, coat this canvas as well. And I'm using white, the midnight blue, grape jelly, and red hot. Okay. So that's what we're doing. So we got the ring pour and we have the kiss pour. So I just want to do two different um, techniques and now just experimenting with the pouring medium and see how, uh, you know, see how it, how, see how it goes. All right. So I will be back and we're going to get started with this pour. I have talked long enough as usual. All right. I will see you in a sec. Let's get started.
mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shining bright above.
I am back. So I let these guys sit for about a good 15 minutes. And I'm going to be honest with you, I love, I love this paint. I really, really do. This paint held the line with the ring pour like really nice. And I got a little cells. Um, you know, maybe typically you don't have a lot of cell uh, action going on in a ring pour, but I love that. I love this paint. I love it. I think I am actually going to start a new series. It won't be a long series, um, because I believe I do have four different types of pouring acrylics now. These companies are actually listening to the artist um you know so many people so many artists love to do pouring and they're actually making you know pretty good products so i love pouring masters so far here's my little mess but um i love it i love this kit i think it's a great price i think the paints are really good i mean you know because sometimes the price is like oh you know the paints may may not be that all that great you know um because i do have now i have the pouring masters i am going to try the montmart probably tomorrow okay so i have the montmart now i just have a small kit but more than enough to um you know try them out i have the arteza and i have the artist loft 
So the artist loft, I'm kind of running out, but I do have enough a few colors I could actually do probably two or three more paintings with them uh, but I'm limited on color though but anyway so this was the kissy pour and I love the um you, now I've usually gotten kind of more like rings when I've done a uh, kiss pour uh, that really didn't happen but I really love this and I love the uh, a little bit of black negative space to kind of contrast and really um, show off these beautiful colors. These colors are really vibrant. And yeah, I love all the texture in there. I love all the cells and the movement in here. It's really beautiful. I'm gonna see if I could, okay. I know it's, no. I'm trying for you guys not to see the ring light, but then you can't see it all. So that is the uh, Kissy Pour. I really love that. I think it came out real pretty. These colors are awesome. Uh, yeah, the pouring medium is pretty good. I have, I'm really happy with everything. Um, and yeah, here's our ring pour. That is gorgeous. I love that. I love the vibrancy. And just it held the line beautifully and I love the negative space I love it I love it I love it so I am very happy so if you guys want to name these two give me some suggestions this is the idea of Fiji Joe art well basically her idea was to um, um, name my paintings Actually, I don't know if it's a girl. I am so sorry. Um, but Fiji Joe's channel. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Let me correct myself because I don't know. Um, but yes. So if you guys want to name these, give me some suggestions for this guy and this guy. And maybe I'll try to come up with my own suggestion. Because <laughs> um, I would be like, kiss for... Oh, uh, no, excuse me, Kiss Pour, Ring Pour, 1 and 2 or something, but, um, yeah, so come up with some names, and I'll do a little poll, we'll have, let's have, have some, uh, fun with this, okay, and, yeah, so tomorrow I will be, um, doing the Montmartre, most likely, and so that's, that, uh, for today, guys, if um, you enjoyed this video, if you like these paintings, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful day.